Hi, this is SSA Group YouTube channel. Our company is an IT services and solutions provider that covers a full cycle of software development. Today we are going to talk about the huge role of a DevOps engineer in the software development and determine why tech giants integrate the DevOps approach into their development practices. First of all, let's briefly overview three deployment approaches available today. Bare metal or dedicated server, public and private clouds, and hybrid infrastructure, a compromise between a dedicated server and clouds. More and more companies use cloud technologies for hosting their projects today. Although there are still industries that traditionally rely on dedicated hosting solutions and colocation. Among them are the banking and financial services industries, healthcare and government. These sectors require an extremely high level of data security and a dedicated server is the only option in this case. The primary reason why the popularity of cloud-based services increases is the desire of businesses to simplify their in-house operations, but the more you rely on cloud services, the less you control. That's why public cloud platforms are not a good option for enterprises or companies that should comply with strict security requirements or legal restrictions. This is where a private cloud appeared. It is a single tenant cloud environment dedicated to a single customer unlike the public one. It is protected from unauthorized access by firewall. Dedicated clouds give businesses full control over the virtual machines, data and configurations. However, this option is more expensive. Thus, the hybrid strategy has emerged as a compromise combining the benefits of on-premises environment with public and or private cloud environments. According to IDC predictions, over 90% of enterprises worldwide is expected to use a hybrid cloud infrastructure in 2021. So why is the web strategy so important? The fundamental software development principle today is to make incremental but frequent improvements to existing software products. This allows to keep product updated and innovative for end users. A successful DevOps strategy removes the gap between Dev and Ops teams, enabling them to work together to achieve continuous software delivery. The primary DevOps practices are automation, continuous integration and continuous delivery, or CICD. It means continuous improvement of all operations at each stage of the software development lifecycle. Development and delivery pipeline automation reduces human error, enhances efficiency and helps avoid unplanned outages. A DevOps engineer has several roles during the software development lifecycle. The first role is a DevOps architect. At the early stages of the software development lifecycle, an expert consults the software architect on what environment is needed for deployment and what options and instruments are available in the chosen environment. A release engineer coordinates development and releases of new features. Also, a software reliability engineer ensures software stability and monitors performance indicators to avoid outages. A DevSecOps engineer has the primary task to improve infrastructure security and eliminate weak points. An IT operations engineer ensures that all systems work reliably and improves the company's equipment if needed. A configuration management engineer is responsible for configuration, optimization and support of the infrastructure components. It is necessary to say that DevOps engineers should have different skills and knowledge for deploying applications on bare metal servers versus in the cloud, and they can play different roles. A tech ops engineer who deals with bare metal servers, a cloud ops engineer for public cloud systems, a virtualization admin who manages private cloud infrastructure, and even a hybrid cloud engineer who combines the skills of a cloud ops engineer and a tech ops engineer. Also, you cannot find a cloud ops engineer with the expertise in all cloud systems. Thus, there are AWS cloud engineers, Azure cloud engineers, and so on. Because every cloud platform has its own toolset and specifics of setup and configuration. You might think that a software development team needs a dedicated DevOps engineer. 
but one experienced DevOps engineer can handle up to six projects. DevOps resources are mostly needed at the beginning of a project, when the future architecture is discussed and the main decisions regarding infrastructure are made. A DevOps is also critical at the end of the software development cycle, when the project is close to release. All that's left is performance monitoring and support, some updates from time to time. In some cases, a full-time DevOps may be required. First, we need to deal with complex software architecture, for example, backend, API, mobile and desktop applications. The more components there are in the project, the more of the DevOps engineer's time is needed. Second, many frequent small updates and releases in production. Third, individual custom installations and deployments for different clients, and if R&D is needed, for example, to transform the infrastructure, migrate to the cloud, automate CI-CD pipelines, and so on. So who are DevOps engineers? They combine the knowledge and skills of an IT operations specialist and a developer. Let's examine a list of requirements for a DevOps engineer. First of all, the DevOps engineer should have certifications. There are some essential DevOps certificates for basic knowledge and skills. Also, they need some specific certificates that prove expertise with particular tools such as Docker, Kubernetes, Terraform, and the like. For cloud ops engineers, there is a list of specific certificates offered by Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. There are many specific instruments for each deployment option and even for each cloud platform. The toolsets for containerization, CI-CD, release orchestration, and the like are entirely different when working with bare metal service or cloud infrastructure. That's why a DevOps engineer can't be universal for every type of infrastructure. Hard skills alone are not enough to be an effective DevOps engineer. Communication and problem-solving skills and the ability to work in a team are must-have DevOps soft skills, as well as analytical thinking and presentation skills. The experience comes with time and releases a DevOps engineer has orchestrated. That's why here at SSA Group we require a minimum of four years of practical experience for DevOps engineers. They deal with cybersecurity, eliminate unplanned downtime risks, prevent production outages and need to predict possible problems by analyzing performance indicators. So, let's summarize the profile of an effective DevOps engineer. First of all, an expert needs technical education, a master's degree in computer science or computer engineering. Second, experience in administration of bare metal system. Next is scripting and programming skills at a basic level to work with specific DevOps tools. Also, they need practical knowledge of architecture types, monolithic, microservices, layered and the like. And on top is experience in design and implementation of web services and cloud infrastructure. Application downtime can cost companies 5,600 US dollars per minute, according to Gartner's analysis. However, only one DevOps engineer can make the whole software development lifecycle more agile and can ensure that releases or features are less stressful and more successful. Experienced DevOps engineers from SSA Group with strong expertise in traditional and cloud infrastructure can mitigate risks and increase performance of deployment through CI-CD automation. Please fill out the contact form on our website and we'll be in touch with you with lightning speed. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos. Bye.